Hi there, I'm Sharon and today we're looking at your Google Drive and a few tips that will help save you a little bit of time. Now just to point out that in this video I'm using a free Google account and there are a couple of options that I go into later which aren't visible on the paid versions, but I'll let you know which those are as I do them. So if you're ready, then let's get started. So my first tip is one that not a lot of people know about, which I find really surprising. And it's to do with navigating your way around your drive. So if you're in a folder in your drive, let's say I'm in this email marketing folder and you want to go to a different folder, you probably click back on my drive at the top here and then navigate to the folder that you want to go to. Well, this might speed up your process a little. So let's go back into the email marketing folder. And if you click on the teeny tiny arrow to the left of where it says my drive here on the left hand side, it will list all of your folders. Now click on the arrow next to the folders to see any subfolders. So if I click on this little arrow here next to where it says online courses, and I can see a subfolder, I click again, and I can see all the other folders. And then I can just click on the folder that I want to go into. And there it is. How handy is that? So staying with navigating in your drive page, and we're going to look at moving files or folders. So let's start moving files into a folder that you can see on this current screen. You can simply drag and drop. So for example, I want to move this file here into this folder. You just click and drag and it's as easy as that. So if you want to move multiple files into the same folder, click on the first file, then hold down the control key and click the other files that you want to move. It will tell you at the top how many files are selected here. And then you can just drag and drop those into the folder and that will work. There's a notification at the bottom here and there's an undo button. So if you want to undo, then quickly press undo and it will say action undone. Be warned though that this only stays on screen for about five seconds. So if you need to undo it, then you need to quick, click it quick. Another way of moving files and folders is by right clicking on the file, the file or folder that you want to move, then click organize and then click move. This opens up a list of your folder locations and they're split into the suggested folders, which are ones that you've been into recently. You've then got starred folders, which are any folders that you've applied a star to. So you can say here, I've not actually got any starred folders in my drive. And then all locations is where you can see any shared drives, any computers that are synced and any shared folders. So to view all of the folders in your drive, you can hover over my drive here and click on the little arrow to the right, or you can click on my drive at the top here. So this lists all of your folders. To view subfolders, again, click on the arrow that appears on the right of the folder and you can see the subfolders. Keep doing this until you get to the folder that you want to move it to. Then you can either click on move over on the right hand side here or click on move at the bottom here. You can also move multiple files this way too. Hold down the control key whilst clicking on the files that you want to actually move. It tells you how many files are selected at the top here and then you can click on this move icon which is the folder with the little arrow in it at the top here. You can either click on there or you can right click and go to organize and move the same way. And then just go through the same process as before to move them to a different folder. Next, we move on to the hover actions. So this is similar to the hover actions in Gmail. Hover over any file or folder and you'll see some icons appear over on the right hand side here. These allow you to carry out quick actions without the need to go into the file itself or any other menus. So let's take a look at these icons. The first one is the share icon. Now, I'm not going to go into how to use the sharing options in this video, but I do have a video all about sharing files and folders in your drive, which I'll link to in the description. The next icon along is the download icon. So this downloads this particular file or folder to your PC. Then we have the rename icon. That's pretty self-explanatory. Click that if you want to give the file or folder a different name. Then we have the star icon here. So if you have files that you use regularly or want to find quickly, then adding a star to them means they get added to the starred folder, which you can quickly access over on the left hand side here. The final icon is the three dots, which opens up the more actions menu. So if you click on there, this opens up the same as when you right click on a file or folder. So you probably actually wouldn't go into it this way. So you might've noticed that when my mouse moves over the file type icon of any file, 
a box appears showing the file. This is called a details card and it gives a small preview of the file along with the date of when it was last edited. So in this video, I'm using my free Google account and when I switch to one of my paid accounts, the details card isn't there. I don't know why, but if you're using the paid version of Google Workspace, then you might not see this. So if you are using a free account like this one, you can switch the details card on or off in the settings. Click on the cog in the top right corner, then click into settings. Scroll down to the file preview card here, and then just check or uncheck the box to show or hide the details card when hovering on a file name. Then once you're done, click on the back arrow here in the top left to get back into your drive page. So my final tip is to help you with storage. If you look at the bottom of the left hand menu, you can see at a glance how much storage you're using. But if you actually click on where it says storage, it opens up the storage page, which tells you exactly how it's being split between your Google Drive, your Gmail and your Google Photos. It also automatically sorts your files into descending order of file size, so you can see straight away which files are taking up the most space. Now, if you're on the free version like this one here, then you can go a step further and click on clean up space at the top here. Click on there and it gives suggestions of how to quickly clean up your items. So you can see here it's split mine into files in my bin, which if I click on review, it will tell me that what those files are and I can just go in and select them and permanently delete them. Then just go back and it will take you back to the storage page again. Next, it's telling me I've got one gigabyte worth of large files. Again, I can click on the review here and it lists the files for me to go through and select the ones I want to delete. The final thing it's telling me is that I've got 32 megabytes worth of attachments in emails. So if I click on review here, it shows me which emails they are. And again, I can quickly select them and delete them if I wanted to. So there's just a few handy tips for you to help save you a little bit of time when in your Google Drive. As I mentioned before, here is the link to my video where I show you in depth how to use the sharing options in Drive. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite tip from this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.